So I guess this is, if they build it, they will come. Uh, I'm really excited about this. When, when I was running for election in 2018, I had been on the council and I had thought we should do something on the East County and I heard there had been talks that had never gone anywhere. And when I got elected, I was determined we were not gonna not go anywhere. Um, there is a need out there. There, was a, there is a reason to locate this campus here. And the fact you already filled up your, your classes already is evidence that that need is real. The ability, you know, one of my thoughts was all these other places, kids can go from nearby high schools and go to the community college, and it's not a terrible thing or a distant thing to do. Not so much on the East County. So it was important. I, w I want the high schools around here to be able to link into this school and take advantage of things the way kids are able to take advantage of the other campuses of Montgomery College. It's really important. And we're doing a lot of things on the East County. In case you haven't noticed, that apartment building up there, we haven't seen construction like this in a very long time. Burtonsville Shopping Center getting completely redone with the long sought after grocery store, the gateway at New Hampshire Avenue, buildings being built, and the town center project with the grocery store, whoever occupies it, is it still Amazon? Um, but that's actually happening. So big things are happening in the East County and it's really important that we, that we do this work. And BRT will eventually become BRT. Eventually it's going to get a dedicated line, lane and not run in mixed traffic, which it was never intended to do. So it's the flash right now. But it needs to be a real rapid transit system. There's no reason for people to be stuck in traffic from uh, below Sears or below the New Hampshire Avenue exit all the way into Silver Springs. So we've got more work to do. But this is really exciting. You know, it starts with, uh, I guess in 2019, we have a conversation. In the fall, um, we wind up with the college uh, submitting an exploratory report to me in February of 2020. In June of 2020, the County funds the comprehensive study to determine the feasibility, and in 2021, the final feasibility study is developed. And here we are in 2024, and we're in buildings, and students are here, and faculty's here, and all these things are happening the way they should be. And to your point about we're building a campus here, and the exciting thing to me is that at this point we're working with Viva White Oak, and this would be the first purpose-built campus in a purpose-built development. The ability to shape a development around the campus is going to be something we've never had the ability to do before. And that has a lot of exciting possibilities. He hopes to bring a lot of companies there. That means hopefully apprenticeship opportunities and job opportunities as well. So there's a lot of things happening and I'm very comfortable with where we sit right now and I believe this is going to be a big difference for the county. Uh, we know that in the census uh, between 15 and 2020, East County grew by 3%, added more than 5,000 residents. Between 2020 and 2030, they expected to increase the population by 4%, another 7,500 residents. And the East County is a region with 73% of the residents identifying as people of color. Um, it is great to build an institution like this in the middle of a community that is majority people of color. It is, some communities have evolved that way. This is being built in a community that exists this way. And it's, I'm really proud of this. I'm really grateful to the leadership from Dr. Pollard and now the leadership from you in getting this, getting this done. So we're gonna have equitable access to education and career opportunities, something we've talked about on the east side of the county. You called out Anthony Featherstone. I always have to call Anthony out because he has changed the nature of WorkSource Montgomery in Montgomery County from an organization that was not serving to the community to an organization that does serve the community. And I am really proud of the work that he's done over here. I'm excited about the, the workforce development training you're doing. Uh, we know the hospitals are hungry for nurses. The county needs nurses. Uh, can we produce some social workers? <laughs> we have a really serious need for that. And if you want to get anybody into the criminal justice system, we've got places for them too. And I think that's part of the planning that people are doing is the work toward what's the workforce we have to produce. And there was just a meeting at USG the other day talking about you know, how do we start aligning our, our schools with the work source we need to produce in Montgomery County. So I'm looking forward 
to that, this is, uh, we've included more than $60 million in my recommended FY 2530 capital improvement so they can begin planning the full service campus and the council's tentatively approved those funds. And you're not, you're not just getting a community college, you are getting probably the best one in the country. I think most... I, th I think most people recognize that this is a system unlike almost anything else. And the diversity of things that you're able to teach people, uh, the breadth of the programming and the breadth of your student body is really remarkable. And uh, you've done right by the county. I'm really proud of this. I mean, I grew up in Montgomery County. Montgomery College was not the place to go. When I, w when I graduated high school in 1967, this was, oh my God, do I have to go there because I can't go anywhere else? And it's no longer that. It's like, this is the place to go and you can get what you need here and you can get the, the degrees or certificates you need. You can get the preparation from going on to the full college at the University of Maryland. So it's become really everything I think people dreamed it would be at some point. And uh, we've had leadership, you're part of that that's had the vision and the energy to turn this into what we all believe in. So I want to thank you. I want to thank everybody here. Uh, it's great to see so many people from the college and from the community because I think everybody knows how important this is, whether it's an opportunity for you as faculty or if it's your community member and you just want to be reassured that you're going to start seeing things on the East County that other people have seen for a long time, you are going to see them and they're going to be right here. So thank you all very much.